So, who is this? Ah, oh, it's Dr. Carrington. Dr. Carrington's head holds no clues that you can discover, except for the somewhat pained expression on his face, which we can't see. <coughs> it's the pale left hand of Dr. Carrington's corpse. The fingers are showing signs of lividity. The pale right hand of Dr. Carrington's corpse. They should, yeah, same thing. Um, it's dripping blood! Porcupine quills, which appear to have caused Dr. Carrington's demise as they pass through his body, leaving multiple pe perforations in many of his vital organs. What a way to go. Spiny Norman, former stuffed porcupine desk decoration, is now squashed under the weight of Dr. Carrington's corpse. What's this? Two letters written in blood on the desktop. Carrington drooled a bit when he died. Ew. And his hair could have used a good wash to get all the grease out of it. <coughs> Boy, all the men in this game are greasy. Neither the fingernails nor the fingers hold any clues. The fingernails hold no clues, but the right index finger has blood on the end of it, although there are no coveted cuts evident on the hand. Perhaps it was to write this. The letters C and P are carefully written in blood on the desk, as if they are put there by the dying Dr. Uh, President Carrington. Hmm. The glass on the clock face appears to have been smashed during a struggle. Whether it was a struggle to wind the clock, or a struggle <laughs> to wind the clock, or to str a struggle to for Carrington's life, it's hard to say for certain. What time is it at? 12:04 a.m. Well, why would Dr. Carrington write CP? Do we, we don't know of anybody with the initial CP. We know Pippin Carter, that's PC. But Pippin Carter is dead now, so he couldn't have done this. Yes. Oh, 15 minutes went by. However, there is one place where we found CP. And that was in this bookshelf. Crime and Punishment. Ooh. Okay. You read a police report... Oh, Watney's file. You read a police report on the criminal career of one Watney Little, con man extraordinaire. The file contains an amazing list of offenses, mostly fraud, mostly fraud, conspiracy to commit fraud, and various degrees of larceny. Glancing at the top of the page, you notice that the investigations were conducted by Scotland Yard. You also notice that the last entry describes Little's recent escape from Dartmoor Prison. Clipped to the outside of the folder is a small handwritten note that reads simply, Remember our deal. Apparently this file was provided in exchange for somebody's silence or service. Now that's strange, now why would Dr. Carrington point us to this file on Watney Little, the con man? I guess we'll have to find out later. It's kind of creepy to have him here like that. Maybe we should clean up the body. Don't touch it! You don't know where it's been! I think we're supposed to hear muffled voices. But, I don't know. <coughs> oh, okay, maybe not. Okay. And let's get out of here. And go downstairs. If we can go. No, I want to go in here. Ah, oh, weapons. This can only be Wolf Heinlich's office. So let's take a look around. There's some... This is a type of spiked flail known as Holy Water Sprinkler, which was quite popular in medieval battles. The name, of course, is a humorous reference to the religious device that is swung in a similar manner. Ah, oh, yes. The main advantage of, the, of a flail over a common mace was that the spiked iron head of the weapon developed extra smashing force as it swung at the end of the chain, which attached to its handle. A heavy cavalry saber. A pair of evilly spiked ballet shoes. Ballerinas were tough in the old days. Why on earth does Wolf Heimlich have ballet shoes? Because he's such a hardcore badass. I guess so. 
a medieval spiked cudgel, also known as a morning star, a cavalry musket, a fine broadsword imprinted with the mark of the Toledo sword makers in Spain. It looks very sharp and deadly. Uh, this must have been the sword that uh, Olympia saved uh, Najir from piercing himself with. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those exotic oriental weapons you've seen before, although you can never remember the name of it. Nunchucks, right? Uh, yeah, or nunchuckle. Nope. No? <clears throat> it was uh, uh, two stakes in something. Oh yeah, those are... Well, nunchakus are usually, yeah, two bars with a chain between them. This one has, appears to have three bars, so is that something different? I guess so. <laughs> anyway, I don't know weapons. I really don't, but, uh, you know, we could use a- Whoa. The intercom crackles in here. Wolfie, it's Olympia. If you can hear me, meet me in the armor room at two o'clock. You promise to show me your private scars, remember? See you there, wolf cakes. Okay, armor room, two o'clock, got it. All right, now what's, uh, oh, we could certainly use a weapon, right? Let's, let's take this one. Oh. Oh, we died. Well, crap. Or maybe we didn't die. Yay. She just has to lie down and take a nap for a few seconds. Just some stimulation. Oh, everything's... Everything's electrocuted. Except for the sword. If you touch the sword, it'll fall and kill you. Um, now there's also something right here, which looks like a mouse trap, and there's a cable running under the desk up to here. World War I campaign medals. Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany is prominently featured on many of the medals. That's nice. <clears throat> Um, I'm kind of afraid of examining the mouse trap, so I'm gonna save it here as um, tough ballerinas because they were tough in the old days. Ah, oh, cheese! <laughs> it's too far away for you to get a good look at it, but it's definitely cheese and it definitely stinks. I want that. Oh, no, wolf, that. Ah, oh. death from traumatic lead poisoning claims many lives every year. That is, that's a little overkill, I think, wolf. That's just, no. It's true, they hadn't outlawed lead paint by the 1920s yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see if we could try the bone. Aha. Ha! I fooled you, Wolf Heimlich. No, you fooled his machine gun. Yeah, but I fooled him, consequently. So now I have cheese, but I don't really want to eat it. Now, what's over here? Ooh, a button. Oh. Sweet! It's kind of dark here. Hello? Uh, You're hi. lucky to be eaten by a group. Uh... Um, Laura? In the darkness of the secret passage, you are blind as a bat. You have a brave but brief battle during which you endure the battering of the berserk and bellicose black bats without batting an eye. Then your body, bothered by the bloody bites, becomes bereft of life. Boy. Why on earth are there bats in the... Okay. Alright game, whatever. You know what, I'm gonna try that again. First I need to get the cheese again. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Alright, I'm trying that again. This time, since I have a lantern, I'm gonna use the lantern. Alright, now I'm ready. I won't be as blind as a bat this time. All right, a secret passageway. Wonder where it leads. Oh, 
Oh, sweet, back here with the dead body. Great, just where I wanted to be. Okay, well, um, looks like we're hitting the time li limit again, so we'll have to see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.